don't see this? <laughs> y'all don't, y'all don't see this? I'm out here looking like Queen Sheba. So welcome back to my channel. What is good? Um, I had to pull out the Badoos. Like, I had to pull out the Badoos today because I was just feeling myself like, I don't have work today because we called, we took some time off for Thanksgiving because we are going to Boston tomorrow. Well, tonight, and we'll be arriving tomorrow morning for Thanksgiving. And yes, that's the topic on today is what to expect from a Haitian Thanksgiving, y'all. Because, I mean, if you're about to visit a friend, visit a girlfriend, a boyfriend's house, cousin, anything, you're about to stop by a Haitian house for some Haitian food on Thanksgiving, you gotta know these before you walk up in that house, okay? And Abby's in the back playing with her new toy. We got her this new thing, um... Cause I'm like, well, we both thought, you know, she's, she's of that age, shorty's grown, she needs a little something to interact with, and it has three different languages, English, French, and Spanish, so she's over there learning that. <laughs> but before I dive in, subscribe for your girl. Y'all can see this. <laughs> it's really loose too. But anyways, first thing, first thing you gotta know when it comes to um, Haitian Thanksgiving is that we prepare in advance. I've already been talking to my mom about Thanksgiving since what May, not even April. I'm like, yo, who's cooking? Whose house are we going to? <laughs> because we gotta know in advance. Because if that is not set in stone, I promise you this, it's gonna be hectic on a f the the week before Thanksgiving, and there will be drama. Because one thing that Haitian moms gotta know is who is hosting, who's hosting and who's bringing what. Cause um. I've noticed that, you know, Haitians love getting together, but on the low, they don't. Like, they want to figure out, oh, who's making this, who's making that, who's wasting more money, who's hosting this, who's hosting that, because it's a lot of stress. So, it's it's daunting um, on a Haitian mom. So, it's like, they need to know who's hosting, who's making this, who's making that. So, around June, July-ish, they figure out who is hosting. And then, as soon as the time gets near, like, well, I think I, I think around September, October, I was on the phone, my mom and my aunt, separate calls, and um, my aunt was just like, yeah, mom making food? I'm like, yeah, she should be, it's Thanksgiving. Like, and then, um, yeah, I'm like, you know, we have it at the house, because last time it was at my house. Um, and so I was like, yeah, we're gonna have it at the house, yeah. And then a month ago, we found out that my other aunt will be hosting. She's like, nah, I want to host. So I'm like, all right, cool. Now that we know, a couple months in advance, auntie is hosting. <laughs> so it's not going to be at our house. So I'm like, all right, cool. And so it's like, you really have to know in advance. Like, I don't know how it is with y'all, but we, we just have to know who does it. And um, another thing that you have to prepare for is um, lots of, like, sideline comments and because it's just a lot you know we love thanksgiving it's, t it's a time for people to be together with family and stuff like that but as a haitian woman it's just a lot of cooking a lot of stress a lot of just standing there so some women may seem kind of like you know like standoffish like oh i'm gonna make the pot of rice mm, i don't know about that i'm gonna have to fry the turkey i'm gonna have to do this make the beet salad all of this some of them don't want to take on that responsibility so help out offer to make some food if you're visiting a Haitian family's home house you can offer to make some food and uh, honestly they'll be polite and they won't have you make anything because that's how Haitians are we are respectful like that but it'll be good to take some stress off of their shoulders you know you have to know is when you walk up in that home y'all you gotta kiss everybody in that house don't go straight to the food you gotta kiss every single person in that home. If you don't do that, I promise you, your spouse is gonna break up with you, or you're just gonna be known as a disrespectful friend, depending on how, depending on who you are, coming into that house. So, we gotta know that. Kiss everybody in the home. Another thing you gotta know is that it's not gonna be a traditional everybody sitting around a table setting. I've been to thousands of homes, Haitian homes, and I've never seen a setting like that. Um, I wish it would be like that. It would be cute. But what we do is we, after the food is done, we just lay everything out on the table, decorate it, look, make it look nice, turkey in the middle, the di cola poids, di jonjo, tout bagasai, tout côté, all of that. Just lay it out and um, pray and then we eat. <laughs> That's it. No one sits around the table and um, 
you know this year i kind of want to ask my mom to do that because it's cute you know we can talk you know coming from my husband's um family we sat around the table and it was a new thing for me i actually liked it we got to talk you know and eat um but for us you know for haitians you got the compa in the back the zoo playing in the back you got the haitian man playing dominoes in the corner drinking some beer you got the haitian moms at the kitchen cooking and cleaning um setting up the table and you got the kids like outside we went upstairs hanging out in their room we're just all in our separate places like doing our own thing until the food's ready on the table so it's kind of like a cookout setting <laughs> but indoors if you think about it um so don't expect to um have a lot to say you would maybe if someone wants to get to know you and be like oh who, who are you you know what you're doing what's your name um but don't expect that family type of around a table setting um expect to have a late dinner i've actually had one person told me that they had dinner like around three or four and i was just like that's early <laughs> like we have dinner probably like around 8 30 oh, 8 30 9 o'clock We'll be cooking all day. Like we'll wake up like around six o'clock, put the turkey in the oven because of course it has, you know, was um clumped in a piece. I like to say it in Creole, but pretty much steeped in with seasoning for like two, three days prior before Thanksgiving. So um pop that out, add extra seasons in that turkey, plop it in the oven, and start prepping for all the other dishes. And honestly, it'll take all day. So our dinner will not start until like 8.30. And another reason why it's that late is because we're waiting for everybody else to come through because Haitians arrive late. We arrive way too late and it's just like, honey, we gotta start eating. We gotta start eating. It's it's crazy. Last time, it was actually my first time last year. I was pregnant with Abby. Um, it was my first year actually contributing and cooking. And I was like, wow. This is a lot, because you got to prepare the egg piece. You got to cut all, all the onions and garlic and seasoning and, you know, prep all the plates. Listen, we don't have the traditional collard greens and mac and cheese and baked yams. I don't know nothing about that. Never had that. I don't know. I'll, I'll dabble in it every now and then, but I never had an African-American Thanksgiving or even an African-American meal until I went to Houston, Texas back in june and it was good i liked it but i'll stick to my asian food <laughs> but we have rice and beans two or three types of rice and beans we have a whole turkey we have the fried turkey and the fried turkey we cut up in pieces like you would make chicken and so what we would also have is guillot on the side which is fried pork um a lot of haitians prefer ham too so literally you have four op options of meats three options of rice um two options of pastas you have macaroni gatine which is baked mac and cheese and lasagna you'll have fried plantains you'll have beet salad which is like one of my favorites potato salad macaroni salad you'll have um salad itself um some pickles which is like seasoned spiced um coleslaw you can say but way better than that I don't I'm sorry but coleslaw is disgusting sorry. and um, Malta for the guys it's a tradition it's culture co um, our, for my cultural background the men drink beer so you have beer on the side but we don't do that at my home um, but that's just what you would, would expect at a Haitian home like I said I'm soup playing in the background we just have a lot of food a lot and I think I'm gonna vlog it so you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about and this was a bad choice Abby, Abby, we fighting. Let go, thank you. We gonna see mommy, right? We gonna see Grams, huh? Yeah, we gonna see Grams. I'm so excited for her to see my mom tomorrow. But um, yeah, all of that, all of that. So expect to have a late dinner and expect um, to pretty much be pressured to help because there's gonna be food everywhere. Air piece everywhere. And expect to smell like food without even tasting the food for, till hours later. So you might as well walk around, scroll through, you know, Facebook, Instagram, or even get to know the guys who are usually playing poker or hanging out, drinking. And everyone is usually, you know, hops. Hops homes when it comes to Thanksgiving. We home hop. 
and so essentially that's just like okay cool you have your dinner at your home you're done eating so let's go to house number two house number three and etc um I remember last year a good friend of mine's dad was just like yo I'm outside can you make me up late I was like you're not gonna come in and say hello like what you mean can you give me a plate and so I made him a play, he ended up coming inside, but that was that. Um, I had an uncle, Uncle's, Uncle Joel came through, got himself a huge plate. And these are not small plates, I'm telling you. Usually they'll come at the end of Thanksgiving, like probably 11 o'clock, 11.30, and they will get one of those aluminum trays and get all the leftovers. So then they can have food for the rest of the week, for the next two weeks at that. So expect to see some relatives, some friends come by with trays so then you can have food for the next couple days because no one's making food and that's another thing do not expect to have a new brand plate of food till uh, like december 5th maybe because that's a lot of food you'll have and um it's just too much we make a lot of food and i'm not even exaggerating you will have food till like december so what thanksgiving's on the 20 24th that's what, six days? Yeah. It'll last, what, a week and a half. And then you'll start getting tired of it and you just throw it away. And with the turkey, you can make some turkey sandwiches. And yeah, the food will last a bit. It will. It really would. So expect to have food for a while and then expect to have people come through with big trays for leftovers. And then leave your house. Like, literally, people are going to be in and out of your house to get some food. It's pretty much like a little party, a little barbecue. People will be dancing to some zook in the background. And that's another thing. Um, if you're in a predominantly um, Caribbean type of state like um, New York, Florida, Boston, um, expect to have the adults go out to a concert right after. Usually there's a, a Haitian artist in the city coming to, you know, do what he does best after Thanksgiving. Like, it's crazy. I didn't notice it till last year, but after dinner, they were saying how someone was in town. I think it was class class with a K was in town and um, everybody was heading out. I was just like, oh, I'm full, no thanks. But this year my mom was like, yo, we should go. We should definitely do it. And um, I forgot who's coming, but usually there's a really good artist that comes into town for um, for Thanksgiving. So <laughs> expect some, some, you know, adults to get ready, change, you know, and get ready to go to the club to go listen to some Haitian music and end the night well. <laughs> yeah. I haven't really been around a lot of Haitians who do Black Friday, unless if you're like a millennial, like us, like our generation, um, like the kids who get ready to do millennial shopping, I mean, Black Friday shopping. But um, the adults, best believe they're at the club after, after dinner. That's pretty much it. Like, I'm just trying to warn y'all now in advance <laughs> because it's, this is how it is. The mouse is Ethiopian. He went through it last year and um he liked it and he honestly loves haitian music more than i do actually well the the new stuff because i'm more i'm more of an alan cave type i still listen to alan cave i'm not really into this new zook era um or new compa it's all right um that song bam is wild i was just like y'all need to listen to bam i don't know who the artist is but that song is crazy it's good but it's dirty <laughs> yeah But expect that. If your friend, a spouse, go into your friend's house, kiss everybody in the house first, offer to cook something, offer to help, offer to set the table, get to know people, play some poker, play some um, dominoes with relatives, and dance too. You got to dance at the end. Honestly, most of all, just enjoy the time because we love family, we love people, and so it'll be a blast. It really will. So. But it'll be a blast, guys. You will enjoy Thanksgiving. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. Don't let anybody ruin your vibe. I do know it's um, online. And it's like, you're posting this at the wrong time. But people have been posting um, pictures and all this stuff about, like, animals who have been injected with hormones, who have cancer. Like, turkey at that. 
And I'm like, you know what? Y'all really messing up my vibe. Y'all killing my vibe right now because I'm about to eat some bomb turkey on Thursday. And y'all want to post these photos of y'all squeezing the zit out of a turkey's butt. Like, literally, that's what I saw. I, I ain't got time for that. And you got them vegans going all out. Like, honestly, I think I'm going to become a vegan. But after Thanksgiving. Sorry. <laughs> like, uh, that food is waiting for me. That food is waiting for me. And I'm going to show y'all in the vlog. Y'all going to... Y'all gonna wish y'all were at my house. Cause it's gonna be on and popping. I think I'm gonna have what like, three three homes that I'm gonna be going to. Well, yeah, mine, my aunt, and then my friend's house. So I'm gonna be hopping. Hopping. So uh, I hope you guys have a blessed Thanksgiving. Be safe. Enjoy the time you have with your family. Be thankful for what you have. And don't spend too much. I think I might buy a new camera. Alright, now you hurt me. Now you hurt me. I think I might have to buy a new camera um, for y'all. But honestly, the iPhone has been doing just fine. But I want to invest in a new camera. But have a blessed Thanksgiving, y'all. Bye.